an N6DMR with BridgeCom technical support. This video series that I'm doing today is to show you how to set Wi-Fi connections to your SkyBridge plug and play package. So there's a few steps to this. The first step is we have to download a program called Angry IP Scanner so that we can actually find the correct internet protocol or IP address of the SkyBridge unit. From there, we'll be going into showing you how to access the dashboard that comes with the Sky Bridge and also to configure Wi-Fi and test that it's connected. So I've already got a browser open. So let's open a new tab and go and download Angry IP. So I like to type it in rather than do a search. So it's angry ip.org or org, angryip.org. Doing it this way, you go directly to the correct Angry IP download web. Looking down slowly here, free download, it's the one we want. Click on free download. Now, which one do we want to install? We want the 32 to 64 bit installer, the auto detect. So let's go ahead, click on this and download it. Now, you'll see it's downloading here on my uh, show all screen and it's actually being downloaded to my downloads folder. This is a normal Windows operation. Typically, when you do downloads, that's where they go. Now, this, the setup program is already finished downloading. So there's two ways we can look at this. One is we can click on this arrow if it's showing, and we could do a show and folder, and there's the IP scan setup. But I want to show you a second way, just in case you don't get this uh, show all band. You can just open up a Files Explorer, go to Downloads, and there it is as well. So let's go ahead and do the setup. A double click on the setup.exe will get us started. Do a yes. Now I'm gonna do next. Now I'm gonna actually uh, install this into the same default identified location. I think that's the best to do with these programs. Don't get it fancy. We'll install them. Uh, well, this is a pop-up. It's Angry IP is a pretty smart program. It says it's missing a JVM architecture, and it's basically called Java Open JDK. Now, it says it will install the 64-bit inversion. Please install Java afterwards. So, since my machine is a 64-bit, I'm going to click OK and allow the Angry IP to complete. We'll finish that. So, we're going to close this download folder. Don't need it anymore. I'm going to go ahead and close this tab. We'll leave the SkyBridge tab open. So now I've had the installed. I'm going to look for the program Angry IP. Here it is. It installed it in my start window here. So we'll go ahead and get Angry IP started. Now it's telling you it failed to execute. It's requiring this Java Open JDK. And then it's asking, do you want to download the Adopt Open JDK? It's a perfectly correct way if you don't have this uh, Java plugin in there. This is the perfect way that this should happen. So I'm going to say yes here. It's going to take me out to the Adopt Open JDK website. I'm going to download the latest release to install. Now again, this install program is going into my downloads folder. Now it's quite a bit, quite a number of uh, uh, file size. So rather than waste your time, I'm just going to go ahead and pause this video and then we'll go ahead and pick up uh, just as the program is finished, a set of program is finished installing. Okay, we're back from our pause just in time to see the program finish downloading. Again, it's downloaded to my downloads folder. So a, one way to open it and install it is to use the file explorer, go to downloads, and there it is right there. And there actually is the uh, Angry IP program that we downloaded earlier. Let's go ahead and use the open folder method over here, which I haven't shown yet. And we'll go ahead and double click on this and run this Java plugin. I'm gonna accept the license terms. I'm gonna use the default setup here and do the install. Yes, I want to let it install. Finish. All right, so let's go ahead and close this window here. We no longer need it. And we'll go ahead and close this tab 
we have already loaded the Java update. We won't need that any longer either. So now I'm going to find my angry IP program and give that a run. So it, I put it in my start file, files here. That's where it downloaded to. So let's just go ahead and run angry IP. Now, this is a lot of information. I have found it not to be important. So I'm not going to actually go through this. We're going to close this. You could, you're you know, perfectly fine if you wanted to read through this. It does not have any impact. So now we've actually got the angry IP scanner program up and running. And the next step is to go ahead and find the address for our sky bridge. So let's actually do a full screen with angry IP and let's it's going to be searching the uh, IP ranges of your router. So let's do a start. See what happens. I'm going to actually let this program run all the way. So it takes just a couple of minutes to do. It's better than jumping around and uh, kind of getting ahead of ourselves. Okay, you're going to get a message in a second that says scanning is complete. We want to close this message window. Now we're going to take a look and find our PyStar or our SkyBridge with the PyStar software. And we see that it's right here at 192.168.1.10. And that's where it's located with the hardwired connection on the network uh, for this router that I'm connected to. Remember, it, you have to be connected to the same router connection as the SkyBridge or you won't get this IP address. All right, so let's go and write this down, 192.168.1.10. I'm going to close this scan program. We no longer need it. I'm going to open up another browser tab, and we'll put in the address of the 192.168.1.10 and press the Enter button. Bang! We've now entered the PyStar Digital Voice Dashboard for the SkyBridge. Now this one has my call sign because it's set up for me. Yours would have your call sign. And as you can see, because we're hooked up hardwired cable, the SkyBridge is already monitoring 3100. Now, in my case, I make 3100 a static uh, IP address because there's always so much traffic on it, I like to listen to it. So next step, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna configure how to do the Wi-Fi setup so that you can have this as a mobile device rather than tethered to your computer.